Hey everyone, it's Denise Brown from the Caregiving Years Training Academy. Family caregivers can't get a break. It was bad before the pandemic and now it's just awful. The pandemic put our respite programs on pause. So traditionally a respite program provides a break for a family caregiver through an adult day center or in-home health or short-term placement in a facility. Adult day centers still might not be open. It might not be possible to find in-home help right now because we have a tremendous shortage of direct care workers. And certainly a respite stay in a facility just is not possible right now. We need pandemic proof respite programs. And I think about where family caregivers are. We're in our house, we're in our community. In our house, because of caregiving, we might be sharing space with equipment and supplies. So when caregiving starts, equipment and supplies come into the home. And then at some point it might feel like there's so much equipment and supplies that the home really doesn't feel like a house, it feels like a clinic. So what if we had respite programs that helped family caregivers create their own space in their home, a space to call their own, a space that doesn't have caregiving as part of it, a space where they can go and reflect, enjoy some solitude, listen to favorite music, maybe have their favorite snack, chocolate, a space they can call their own. What if that were a respite program where we were able to receive funding to modify part of our home that's just for us, that gives us a break. That way, no matter what is going on in the world, we still have a place to go to get a break because it's the corner of the bedroom or it's that little area in the basement or it's the unused office space. A space to call our own that feels like home to us can be a break for us. What about in the community, we had a respite garden, a place we could go to take a walk, to enjoy nature, to maybe hear some water features, and to see messages as we walked through the path that said, you are loved, you matter, we believe in you, you can. Just receiving those messages is a break. And what if it was a respite garden that former family caregivers created for current family caregivers? It's the gift back. It's the way to pay it forward. So that way when you think, oh my gosh, I've got 30 minutes, I'm gonna take a walk to the respite park, to the respite garden. I'm gonna just sit in one of the park benches. I'm gonna watch the birds at the bird feeders and I'm gonna take in messages of hope and support. And then I'm gonna go back home, refreshed, energized, supported. What if we had respite programs that created these respite gardens for seasons, right? Because even in winter, we can appreciate a garden. We can still grow, maybe not the same way, but we can in winter where it's just for us. We really need to rethink respite programs and think outside the box because our traditional respite programs got broken during the pandemic. And who knows when they're gonna open up again? When are they gonna be fixed? So let's think about what we can do to give a break to a family caregiver where they are right now, in their home and in their community. Let's create respite programs that work for the family caregiver, regardless of what's happening in the world, that give them a place to just connect in solitude to what they love, to connect to who they are outside of caregiving. Let's create res respite spaces in the house and in the community. Let's create a break right where family caregivers are. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Denise Brown. Oh, you know what? I forgot to tell you, if you like this idea, 
sign our petition, petition. It's campaign to act. We want to act now to make the lives of family caregivers better. Oh my gosh, it's been too long. We have suffered too long. The pain has been too long. Enough. We need to raise the message. We really need to get stakeholders, policyholders, those who hold the purse strings to listen so that we can invest in family caregivers. So check out our petition at change.org. You'll see a link in the comments section. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much. I'm Denise Brown. Take care. Bye-bye.